Um, one thing you need to just make a statement, go on the offensive, not the defensive this time. Well, part of that, uh, yeah, we believe me, I'm not exactly a shrinking violet. Yeah. When I get there, we're not going to be on the defensive. We're going to have to uh, kick a bureaucratic derriere and take names. Definitely. Well, July 9th, the Federal District Court in Boston overturned the uh, Definition of Marriage Act by uh, Judge Joseph Toro, I believe it's called. My question is, uh, what will you, will, will you pr propose a constitutional amendment or do further work to protect the uh, definition of marriage? When I served in the Congress of the United States and my former colleague Marilyn Musgrave of Colorado uh, started advancing the idea of a, uh, of a constitutional amendment to protect marriage, I was one of the original co-sponsors on that, and it, it's sad in the sense that you have to take our Constitution to protect uh, what has been a staple of, of society and culture, but uh, the language is quite clear in the proposed amendment. A marriage in the United States shall consist of the union of one man and one woman, and I unequivocally supported that during my days in the House, and as your next senator, I will support it and sponsor it again. I'm not making life tough for you, but the gentleman's right here. Now hang on for the microphone, okay? Here he comes. I have a loud voice. Well, I know you do, but it'll be even better when everybody uh, uh, This goes about, well, what are your views on the uh, next time the voting, so-called voting rights bill comes up? It affects Arizona. We have two protected districts guaranteed to so-called minorities. And the other, and in the state, therefore, has to be gerrymandered. The other thing is, it makes Spanish legitimate and mandatory in the second language. Now, what, what uh, views, or what actions are you going to go with that? Well, actually, the Voting Rights Act of 1964, it is true that Arizona has, uh, uh, how can I put it, this is not the exact term, but, but we merit special attention and scrutiny from the Justice Department. But actually, redistricting is up now in Arizona to an independent commission. And redistricting is different from the Voting Rights Act. You've really put three issues down here on the table for us, and I will address it as best I can. Uh, and this is where I, I have a disagreement in history with, with Barry Goldwater, who was against the Voting Rights Act in 1964. There, there have been key times in our history, not very many, but there have been times when the federal government had to step forward to ensure the rights of citizens. And that's what I believe was the aim, and I think in, uh, the goal that has widely been achieved with the Civil Rights Act of 1964. And I voted for its renewal during my days in the House. But you're also asking a question that really has to do with the use of languages in our society. I believe in official English. But also understand this. That is purposely misdefined by those on the left as English only. It does not mean that. It means official English, that English will be the language of government, but it does not outlaw the use of other languages in an unofficial capacity nor does it step on the rights of the first Americans, those who belong to sovereign Indian tribes and nations, to utilize the languages they see fit. Uh, so you've given us really three topics there, and I don't know if I've done an adequate job of addressing them, but I do believe in official English. I do believe that the intervention of the federal government at a troubled time in our history to protect the rights of citizens was important, and remains important, and thirdly, when it comes to redistricting, as we know, in Arizona, that is a function now of a nonpartisan commission. Okay. Uh, the, uh, there is a continuation of a problem. Uh, we have redistricting regions that are forced to next year, but that's, that's the reason why a lot of, lot of your types will be elected, re-elected, because reapportionment is going to be very good. Reapportionment will come following the, the processing of the, of the uh, census of 2010. Okay.
Well, no, there, there's, uh, that's a suspicion and a concern that is warranted, but you cannot, and this is where I disagreed and showed the power of the current majority on the left to say, oh yeah, we're going to count everybody, including non-citizens. What we have to do is redouble our efforts. Remember the Voting Rights Act, and I, I know I say this like a broken record, but there are those here videotaping this, doing their best to take my remarks out of context and get some pictures of my face with some interesting expressions that given the, uh, the lack of, uh, of, uh, of certain looks, it may not be that hard to do on just about any question. But, but the point I'm making is this. Voting rights should never be extended to non-citizens. And, and this is why it's not an action really comporting with voting rights or the census. It is an action comporting with the integrity of our elections. And here in Arizona, what, how did we decide to deal with that? Simply proving that we are who we say we are as voters. With an ID and our registration card when we go in to vote. But there's something else that needs to be done. If we ask that of voters, it is reasonable to expect that we ask that of candidates. That candidates are who they say they are across the country for the highest position in the nation to the world. Mark, I'm going to make you get your work out. Where are you, pal? Mark is back there with the mic. There I'm going to go over to this side now, and it's Jacob's granddad, who is so youthful. When he said he was his granddad, it shocked me. That broke him, everybody. You rode up from where you guys were listening to the radio tonight, right? You heard about this and you came on by. Uh, we were in Prescott and we heard that you're over here, so we well about we appreciate you over. coming up. Yes, Thanks. indeed. Uh, every election, most politicians reaffirm or affirm their belief in the Second Amendment. Then they get elected. Then they vote to confirm radical judges mm -hmm. to different positions, uh, i.e., the Supreme Court. Uh, Mr. Obama is not going to outlaw our guns. What he's going to do, he's going to put judges in place that will do it for him. And what is your position on these radical judges that are getting these positions? Were I, uh, were I your United States Senator today, uh, now that, that sadly uh, Ms. Kagan's nomination was approved by the Senate Judiciary Committee uh, with the vote of uh, our senior senators, many me, uh, Mr. Graham of South Carolina, voting in the affirmative, uh, I, would, uh, I would tell you that as your, seniors, uh, as your next senator, I would actively work to filibuster and delay that nomination on the floor. Because I believe that uh, she is so wrong-headed on a variety of subjects, but especially trying to deprive uh, access of our military to the Harvard Law School to recruit when she was dean of that law school. And it's not only the impulse of that, it's that her misunderstanding of the law was so great. She took that before the Supreme Court, and it was such an extreme position that she was kicked out nine to nothing. Not even the leftists on the court would countenance her extreme action. And my concern, I believe that she engaged in deliberate um, subterfuge by failing to answer questions specifically. And I appreciate the fact that the ranking member of the Judiciary Committee, my old friend Jeff Sessions, announced that he would oppose uh, her nomination. And of course, we know why John McCain is opposing her nomination. It's because there's a certain conservative running against him right now. So we welcome that opposition, but uh, we, we don't labor under delusions about it. Uh, again, you will not get from me any effort to, uh, to try to, uh, in any way, diminish or erode our Second Amendment rights. The same cannot be said about the Yes, Joy. Uh, and now, Miss Joy, we're going to wait because here comes Mark with the mic. <laughs> Mark with the mic is getting his work out tonight. JD, I am thoroughly disgusted with this health care law. Um, I'm also thoroughly disgusted.